Hi folks, welcome to the first in a series of videos on how to use the UNM Learn system. In these videos, we'll cover the fundamentals of using Learn to build your online courses. Something to keep in mind is that after watching one of these videos, it's a good idea to log in to Learn and try out the things you've just seen. In this first video, you will learn how to log in, the layout of the landing page you see when you first log in, how to open a course, and basic course layout, including the course menus, content area, and student view. So let's start with logging into a course. Most people get to learn through the UNM homepage. So they go to unm.edu, where we are now, and then they click My UNM. From the My UNM page, they then click this little icon that looks like a graduating student with a mortar board. That's the UNM Learn icon. So that takes us to the UNM Learn login page. You might notice here in the browser address window that the address for this page is learn.unm.edu. You can always get here by typing learn.unm.edu into your browser address window. It's the quick way of getting here. So now I'm going to type my UNM ID and my password. Then I'll click login. And now we're in. The landing page for UNM Learn has a variety of information. You'll probably want to go here, My Courses, to find the course you want to open. But there are a few other things here too. There's messages, which show you and show your students if they're logged in, whether there are any new course messages in the courses in which they're enrolled. There's also announcements, which in my case gives me an update on a course I'm in, and will do the same for your students. Then there are institutional bookmarks, easy ways to access learn support, and a variety of campus resources. Then there are tools. You can look at your calendar, which is part of the UNM Learn system that shows deadlines for things in your classes. So your students can see due dates for all items in all their classes here, so long as the instructor has set a due date for that item. Finally, there's grades, which is for your students, where they can see the grades they've received for all their classes. What you'll probably be doing here on the landing page, though, is going to a course, one of the courses listed on your My Courses list. I'm going to open a course, which is a space where I can try things out without affecting any students. So here it is. We're in my course. And so here you can see certain things that you'll see in the layout of a Learn course. You'll see menus on the left side. The menu on the top left is the one students use to access the materials you've provided them in this course. Sometimes it includes basic resource items as well, such as a link to the library, a link for creating a Learn support ticket, and information on how to use the Learn system. Then there's the menu below it, the course management menu. That's just for you. Students don't see that menu at all, but it gives you access to things you'll use to manage the course, including the Grade Center, the roster for your course, which is in users and groups, and various other things for this course. So keep in mind, this menu is for you, not seen by your students. And this is seen by both you and the students. And it links to all the pages where you've provided content to your students. Now, if we look towards the top of the screen, you have a Go to Student View button. You can click that to see this course just as your students would. And then you have an Edit Mode button. It's on, as you can see. This means I can edit things in the course. So you'll want to have it on whenever you want to add things or edit them in your course. Finally, there's the main part of the Learn screen, the center area. And that's where you're going to put your content, your assignments, assessments, all the things you want your students to engage with. You can switch between these content pages using the course menu on the left. Note that we're currently on the course dashboard, which is a standard page that shows students information about course announcements, alerts, and upcoming assignments. If you want to add materials of your own, you would switch to a different page using the menu. I'm going to click Course Information, which is a blank page often included in a course as space for you to add content. So here on this blank course information page, if you wanted to add materials, you would do it with the menus here, going across the top. You'll see how to use those menus to add various kinds of content in later videos in this series. One final thing I want to note is that the sample course we're seeing here is something you will get as a starting place if you're web enhancing a course that you teach on campus or if you're developing a hybrid course. 
If on the other hand, you're developing a fully online course, you will start with a template that has a lot more items on the menu and a module structure in the content area. So we're seeing a simple starter course here and we'll see the same throughout this video series. But if you're developing fully online, you'll see something different with some more built-in resources and structure. So that's it for our UNM Learn overview. We hope this video helped. You can check out the rest of the videos in this series on the Center for Digital Learning channel on YouTube. Thank you for watching this introductory video on the UNM Learn system.